high school for the arts, the first, if not the only, uh, high school for the arts in the Philippines. It was established in 1977 by the Marcoses. It serves to be the the supplier of protégés uh, in the field of creative writing, dance, music, theater, and visual arts. When I was younger, I always thought I wanted to be a writer because I didn't think I was good at anything else. So when I found out about the school from them, I decided to like, try it too. And here I am. <laughs> what brought me here is my love for dance and seeing professional dancers on videos. And then I said to myself, maybe this is what I really want to become. Uh, when I was younger, I would dance around like anywhere and everywhere even if I, I didn't know how to dance I just like go to around and when we were in restaurants I'd be dancing around so my mother enrolled me into ballet classes and then she she suggested later on that if I wanted to really take it seriously I should go here. The typical day of a PSSA scholar is taking up English, science, math, Filipino in the morning. After lunch they'll be going to their respective majors. Uh, in that way, they can hone you know, their talents. While doing the basic education, uh, day in and day out, I myself can attest to the effectiveness or efficiency of this uh, curriculum because they get uh, honed or sharpened you know, by doing a lot of exercises, uh, Assignments and uh, the visual artists are required to to draw every day, or a creative writer are required. Writers are required to to write almost every day. I said, "Dito, uh, yung basic and art education mo is yung dalawang 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 curriculum sila na na pinapagsasasabay mo as a student here in PHSA." Para ang ganda lang po ng idea ng double curriculum. Ang ganda po ng you get to study GE as well as you get to study your art field. Nagiging in, nagiging ex, nag, nag, na expose kami sa arts. Tas we're taught different things na ano. Tas not we're not only exposed to our art field but also to others. We see how how things are done in the in the creative writing department and we get to appreciate different art fields. Yung magiging independent mo dito. Uh, mas fun kasi kasama mo sa, sa dorm yung classmates mo. At sa, sa, para sa akin, mas, mas tumaas ang grades ko dito kasi mas nakapag-aral ako kasi away ako sa like TV, internet, ganun. The advantages of studying here instead of a regular, uh, regular high school is really about learning how to be independent, as to be doing stuff on your own, how to manage your own time, how to prioritize. When you come here, it's not the usual na you ka. So you need to be to see other people, other classmates. You need to learn how to... Because there are different attitudes from different places. So you need to learn a lot. Well, here, I really learned how to manage my time. Um, because of the double curricula, we have to balance all of our basic studies with our art um, practices. And that taught me a lot, a lot about um, how, I, how I manage my time and how I can finish all of these things really quickly and efficiently. And um, something about traveling every week from home in Makiling taught me how to pack a bag for a five-day trip really easily. <laughs> One of the gifts we receive from studying or staying at the PHSA is the, the blessings no, from nature itself. No? Uh, Mother Nature here is called Mariang Makiling and she has given us a lot. In here you can be inspired just by looking at the view alone. The simple environment uh, is conducive to to writing, to, to acting, to drawing, to singing, or playing, or dancing. You know? In itself, uh, God's gift to us uh, is enough for us to, to pay back you know? by, by celebrating you 
no, the creation of God through this uh, beautiful environment. No? Yung first year pa lang po ako, medyo na homesick talaga ako. Mga five months po siguro akong iyak ng iyak, gabi-gabi. So parang ayun. Tapos yung mga roommates ko, inaano na lang ako na pagainin yung loob ko. Na okay lang yan, makakara. O sa ako sa ganyang mga ano, emosyon. Tapos, ngayong second year na ako, parang wala na. Parang okay na ako dito. Parang comfortable na ako. Tapos parang gusto ko na lang dito palagi sa makiling. Kasi parang <laughs> ang peaceful dito. Natural resources uh, are the best examples of what art can be or should be. Because this uh, shows us that God himself or herself is an artist. We would like to bring back the lost glory of Makiling. This used to be the art capital of Laguna and we tried to uh, add the, the, the glamour and glitz of uh, uh, this mountain uh, recently being uh, cited as a heritage site aside from being a forest reserve. Uh, Mount Makiling is an active volcano, so we'd like to, to, to adopt no? its uh, passion, its uh, uh, temper, its uh, love no? for the arts. No? Uh, Makiling uh, would like to expose uh, these kids majoring in dance to try perhaps um, installation art or performance art or a visual arts major to try uh, writing poetry and fiction and monologue uh, to widen their horizon and eventually we would like to create a student who's versatile who's multi-talented uh, who can do multitasking in this day and age of uh, uh, globalization so to make them more uh, competitive uh, here and abroad. Bakit kukunan? Ano yung kinukunan? Ano yung hahanapin pag kinukunan? Yun yung matanong nila. So, magugulat ka for, from a 14, 15 year old yun ang itatanong. Samantala, sa ibang lugar, magtatanong. Ito, mga college, yun yung una itatanong. Anong lens yung maganda? Ano yun? So, yun yung, yun yung nakaka, nakakapanibago, nakaka, nakakatuwa. Naka-inspire din. Oh, the students. They're, they're wonderful. I like them. Tsaka gusto gusto ko yung the respect they had for respect itself. You know, maraming sinasabing si ate this, si kuya this, you know, uh, uh, grade lower than other grades. They have their own, uh, uh, I guess, system of respect that mirrors the system of respects of the country. You know, the older folks uh, get a little respect from the other ones. And I also like their, hindi uh, nila pinababayaan, you know, the older people always gets the younger people involved. O kumisan sila na ang sumasaway, hindi na ako, sila lang sa... So the class itself maintains its own discipline. I hardly have to do anything, really. And then they're very excited when I give them a, an, an activity and I let them go. Oh, they all participate right away. You know? Being an alumnus ng Philippine High School for the Arts, no? Siyempre, very eventful sa akin lagi na bumalik dito sa Makiling, no? Uh, interestingly, it, yung workshops, binigan siyempre ng freedom yung student body, I mean the individuals, to choose kung ano yung gusto nilang workshop. No? Uh, so, ang, ang na-surprise ako, walang visual artist na nag-enroll sa filmmaking. No? I, I guess they wanted to explore uh, other things. Uh, maybe that's a good sign kasi they probably felt na they, they really know already na cinema is really directly linked to the visual arts. No? And that's why they wanted to try something else. So, ex naging exciting din sa akin kasi uh, from different art majors yung mga Somali and mag maraming Somali from uh, theater arts. So, it's an uh, entirely new thing to them but at the same time, it is very much related as well. You know, because coming from new traditions than theater, uh, there are ideas that are being discussed na actually talagang halos similar. May, may connection siya talaga and of course perf uh, performance and, and, and acting and so on. Yung cinema nga kasi is merging of all the arts eh. It is.
has been an amazing experience to be a guest artist here in Makiling and to work with the fantastic students at the Philippine High School for the Arts and also have the support of all the great staff. Their openness to new ideas and their openness to um, critique and willingness to learn from critique was something that I was not expecting from teenagers. I think that being in an environment where they can really focus on learning and focus on their art um, can only be um, inspiring and advantageous for them. If given the chance again, I would come back here immediately. Well, I think it's a fantastic opportunity to be here and this is a wonderful experience. And um, I think the school has a great uh, location and um, yeah, here you can do many things and I'm very happy to be invited. Well, the, this, it is great to have this nice place where we can work with the kids. It's like open air and it's yeah, close to the nature. You get, uh, you get uh, many inspiration from just from the surrounding. And also the kids come with a great energy. I think they have a lot of talent. And since they come from uh, performing arts departments like dance and theater, I'm quite astonished about their talent and creativity and about their, yeah, they're really ambitious. Yes, yes, they did, did not want to stop working. So I think they catch fire and uh, it was a very good energy in the workshop. My keeling is my keeling, leaning towards the art. No? My keeling, my keeling, kikiling. But the thing is, uh, there we can create the words as says as link, maki link, or to link up or to collaborate with other cultures. That's why that's the see there is culture, intercultural, not necessarily international. And at the same time, inviting people from the outside who uh, think the same way as our as. Uh, going out of the box, so to speak. No? We would like uh, our students to be uh, daring uh, and yet caring, uh, establishing links and creating the spirit of uh, oneness, universality and all that. To be honest, I started off a little rough because I only know basics. And then here in this workshop, I learned a lot more about my camera, how to use it and how to take better pictures and be more technical. Sir Mishaf, ano, parang open siya to any, any possibilities at siya, siya very encouraging, very joyful na kaya ano, masaya, masaya yung paggawa dun sa metal art. Metal is really really hard to cut. It hurts the hands so much. Like, uh, I think I might, I got bruises already from cutting the metal. <laughs> And um, I think, like, I learned that it's really, really important to be patient, but good things will come out of it. Magaling, magaling siyang, mag, ano, magaling siyang teacher. Tapos parang iniisa-isa niya talaga yung pag explain ng kung paano gumawa ng film. Tapos, pero medyo magulo din kasi first time lang din to na ma-encounter ma ko siya. Tapos, may, may, mga, may mga words siya na sinasabi about film na hindi pa namin alam. So parang nakakonfuse ako kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun. Pero at the end naman nung discussion niya, clear naman sa amin na clear naman yung mga lahat ng mga sinasabi niya. Si Sir Raymond Red po, ang galing niya po. Tapos medyo... Medyo nakaka-starstruck din po kasi um, alumni po siya. Tas, parang naka-inspire po siya since alam kong dito rin siya nanggaling. So parang magkakaroon kami na, nagkakaroon kami na inspiration na baka kaya din namin maka maging singgaling niya or yun, baka maabot din namin yung mga naabot niya. So, at marami rin kami natutunan po sa kanya. One of the things that interests me is his emphasis on imagery. And I like imagery because 
I'm sanay ako sa ano poetry and with him emphasizing that I need imagery in my poems. Parang that helped me to realize na it's not all about feelings or emotions. It's really about conveying an image that the readers can hold on to. Sir J is a really fun teacher. Well, you get to interact a lot. Here, I got to learn in a really easy and fun way. We would like to think you know, that uh, Makilink would be the, the time for us to come back, especially the alumni you know, and other people from Laguna and its suburbs and other parts of the country and perhaps other parts of uh, the world you know, to come here and uh, see for yourself why since 1977 we have been producing world-class artists. I would like to share to our kids that aside from their creativity, we can change the world by teaching the non-artist about our expertise and in so doing, sharing with other people not only the joy but the, the power of the art in healing, finding meaning in their lives. No? Uh, art is not just uh, for a writer to count syllables and to make perfect rhyme, dancers to, uh, to perfect their form, or musicians to, to memorize uh, a note or two, theater artists to look good on screen or on stage, or visual artists to uh, to make their paintings look like photograph. No? Uh, as artists, we should know our role uh, under the sun. No? Artists are not just here to satisfy themselves or to gratify uh, their personal agenda. Artists are here or they are also capable of um, making other people's lives uh, more meaningful. Uh, we are here uh, for ourselves alone. We were given, or we are given talents uh, to make this world a beautiful place, uh, to make this uh, world, uh, shall we say, uh, more beautiful, uh, truer, and better. Um, studying here in Makiling, I can't really say that everything is a completely great experience, but it's a unique one. And I'm very sure that even when I graduate, I don't think I'll ever forget any of this.